Season's greetings and welcome back to Beverly's Design Guide. In today's DIY, I'll teach you how to make two stunning sets of candle holders that are both inexpensive and easy to make. They are so beautiful and are perfect for entertaining this holiday season from Christmas, New Year's, and beyond. I would also like to inform you guys that I've decided to change the name of my channel and I'll reveal the name in my very next upload. I'll also do an update on my 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So please stay tuned for that. And if you missed my previous upload, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Now on with the video. All items used will be in the description box below. All right guys, so let's get started. First thing I want to do is to take all four bowls, remove the labels, and make sure that it's completely clean. First off, I'm starting out with my mirror towel. This mirror towel I purchased from Amazon.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I haven't been able to find the mirror towel that Dollar Tree carries, so I always purchase mine off Amazon. First thing I'll do is wrap some mirror towel around one of these napkin rings. And these are from Dollar Tree also. So I pre-measured, so I know I need four rolls of the mirror towel. One, two, three, four. I'll be using this utility knife to cut the mirror towel. Now this mirror has adhesive on the back, so there's no need for me to put any on here. It's really strong. If you use the Dollar Tree and the adhesive is really not that strong, then go ahead and add some additional glue. Just roll it on there as straight as I possibly can. You may have a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. That's how that looks. And if you've been to Dollar Tree lately, you'll know that they have these newer ones that look like they're kind of uh, crystal. But if you can't find those, you can use the smooth ones as well. So either one of these will work. I'll be using the newer ones. I'm going to glue the tea light holder to the napkin ring. And I'll be using my E6000. You can see the tea light holder has ridges, so I'm going to apply the glue there. After adding the E6000, flip it over and add some hot glue to hold it in place while the E6000 sets up. Now I'll set this aside and let it dry and go on to the next step. So the next thing you want to do is start putting together your base and it can be as long as you want. Initially I was going to do three mirrors but I decided to do four. I've done something similar to this before but I use octagon mirrors do it this time with the square mirrors. So what you want to do is remove the feet from the mirrors. So this is the plan. What we want to do is line these up and glue these together and then we're going to use some popsicle sticks to reinforce it. So I just thought I might need some tape so let me grab some tape and come back. Alright guys, so I'm back. I grabbed some tape. I'll be using these craft sticks later but I'll go ahead and cut them now. So what you want to do is take a very thin bead and put it on your mirror. Line that mirror up with a second mirror, press them together, apply tape to hold them together while the glue sets up. Now apply some glue to a craft stick and then lay it across both mirrors. I added a piece of tape to the craft stick while the glue sets up. Glue all remaining mirrors together. All right, so your goal is to make sure that all these mirrors are laying completely flat. So if you see that you need to add more tape to make sure that happens, then go right ahead. Now I'll set that aside, let that dry, and move on to the next step. Okay guys, so while the mirrors are drying, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So I clean my fish bowl and took the label off the bottom. So what I'm gonna do now is glue this to the inside, just like that. So I'm going to take my E6000 and put some on the bottom of the napkin ring. So you might want to stand up to make sure that it's in the center, but don't worry if it's not because it is clear glue. So you might see it a little bit, but it really won't take away from the look. Once you center it, set it aside to dry. So yeah, we have all four. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. Continue to let the mirrors dry as well. Come back and put it all together. 
While my first DIY is drying, I decided to go ahead and try this with some mesh bling, diamond wrap, bling wrap, whatever you want to call it. So it's the same exact thing, but I'm not using the mirrors. I'm using the bling wrap. This is the second option. It's really pretty as well. In this DIY, we'll be using six Dollar Tree candle holders. I have two that I've already glued together. Now I'll be using some E6000 to glue three of the candle holders together. Spread some E6000 on the top of the candle holder. Flip the second candle holder and place it on top. Check it to make sure that it's level. And then place the third candle holder on top. Check it to make sure that it's level one last time. And then set it aside to dry. Here I have one candle holder and this is how I'm going to do the other two. So this is one and I've already glued this one on. Here I've glued two candle holders together and the glue is still drying but it's still dry enough for me to move on. So I'm going to add some E6000 to the top and then I'm going to add my tea light holder. I'm making sure that the tea light holder is properly centered. Then I'll set this aside to dry. I then repeated those same steps to my third candle holder and set it aside to dry as well. Now back to my first DIY. To save on time, I've already started gluing some of my blocks down. I use E6000. I've already removed tape from the first mirror. Now I'll remove the tape from the remaining mirrors. So what I'm going to do is lay my blocks down and glue them on as I go. Since I'm going to use my mirror towel right on the outside of these blocks, I'm leaving a little bit of a lip right on the outside. I actually started up top. So what you want to do is lay your first block down and remember to leave a lip on this side and on this side. Now here I have some white E6000. Since I'm using it on the bottom, it won't matter. So, um, and it's probably better for the camera anyways. So just move it out. Then place the adhesive side down onto the mirror. And remember to leave a lip on the front and on the side. Continue to glue the blocks down until you've covered the whole perimeter of the base. Now that I'm done adding my blocks, I'll put this aside, let the glue set up, come back and go on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what it looks like. I went ahead and added a couple more blocks here or there, whatever. Now it's really firm and stable. Now to give this a more finished look, I'm going to use some of this foam board. And the foam board just so happens to be the same exact length as the mirror and that's 20 inches. So all I did was put this on the corner, on the very end, took a marker, measured it down, and cut it with an X-Acto knife. And you'll have this. Now I'm going to line the foam board up with my base, glue it on with E6000 along with some hot glue. Once I'm done, I'll flip it over and put it aside to dry. Okay guys, I'm back and all three of my candle holders are completely dry. Now this is the second one, so this one has the two candle holders. They'll all be decorated slightly different. I'm not going to do a whole lot of accessorizing because the top part of the candle holder is really the star of the show and that's really what I want to showcase. So I'm just going to add some bling wrap. I'm going to trim some around the bottom. All three will have some trimmed around the bottom. Now the other two, I think the neck of the candle holder is up here and I actually added some rhinestones around the neck so since I don't have the neck of it, I actually have the bottom of the candle holder on this one, I'm going to add some rhinestones on here. I'm adding one row of diamond wrap where the two candle holders meet. To finish off the look, I'm adding one row of bling around the base as well. 
I'm going to decorate the other two candle holders off camera. Come back and let you see what they all look like. All right, guys, I'm back, and this is what it looks like when it's completely dry. So now I'm going to take my mirror towel, and it's going to take about four rows of the towel to cover the sides. And I've already started here, as you can see. So I'm just going to bend this over to make a crease. And I have a utility knife that I'm going to use to cut the crease. I'm lining the mirror towel up with the side of the base. So once I have it lined up, I'm going to remove the backing and just slowly press the mirror towel in place. Now with both sides completed, I'll go ahead and add the end piece. And again, I'll do the same thing. Line the mirror towel up, remove the backing, and press the mirror towel onto the base. Moving right along, I've cleaned the mirrors, and I've also cleaned the tea light holders. So the next thing I want to do is glue tea light holders in the center of each one of my mirrors. And I'm using hot glue to glue them in place. I don't want to use E6000 because there's a possibility that on down the line I could possibly break one of the tea lights and by using the hot glue I can remove it and replace it easily. I'm going to put glue right underneath that ring. Once you're done adding the glue, you will need to stand up to place your tea light in the very center of the square. Then glue on the remaining tea lights. And once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. I think it turned out beautiful. I'm so in love with this piece. It's blingy, it's clown, it's clean. It'll make the perfect gift for anyone. And the best thing about it is that it was really easy and inexpensive to make. It cost me about $14 to make this, excluding the mirror tile. Now I'm going to add some candles to both DIYs. Come back and let you see what they look like with the candles burning. Please stay tuned as I bring you more holiday decor and gift giving DIYs. Don't forget to comment your favorite DIY. And if you made it to the very end of this video, leave a heart emoji in the comment section below. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe now. It's absolutely free. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.